Hey guys, how's it going? Out today doing a little metal detecting. I brought the new, brand new, first time out. Man, of course, so far so good. I, I, one thing I can be honest with, the the difference in weight is night. I, I mean, I'm a CTX guy. I've been swinging that for the last six years. This is unbelievable how. One thing that I am noticing is this part right here is coming loose on a regular basis. So, uh, I don't know what to think about this. Um, I don't know whether a little bit of Loctite, but I'm putting this on and I'm finding that I'm tightening this all the time now. Either that or you got to make it stiff. Is, and I don't, I really don't like it like that, to be honest. I like it to be flexible because I'm always on these uneven spots. But I was working through here and I got, um, what did I dig? I dug a bottle cap. I think it was like 62. Still learning the new... Um, you know, I had the CTX, uh, it was a lot different, so I'm just getting back into the swing here, but I came along here and I got a good one, at least I thought it was, 61, 62, just in case you want to know, I'm going to show the garbage, because we're all learning, I guess, if you're into the manicore, you just got one, that's what I got, that was a 61, 62 in the ground, and that was... Uh, probably a good six eight inches down one thing I am noticing with the manicore is it does get very very deep the last thing that I dug was way down that and I have it at 23 sensitivity so I, I like mine stable I don't like mine chirping and I'm not getting any falsing off of iron it's all the iron is hitting like iron so far so this is a pretty trashy site this will I'll know by the end of today whether this thing is a little noisy in, um, in iron, whether it is or not. So, on to the next one. This is an interesting one. I'm going to dig this just to see. On the CTX, when I got a hit like this where you don't touch it and it goes crazy like this, it's always aluminum. And I'm sure every machine's that way. Uh, I am going to dig it and we'll see what's in here. But I'm pretty confident this is a hunk of can slaw. There's a lesson in this because it was not. It was a shotgun shell, 12 gauge, on the surface. Lesson learned. It is a great day to be in the woods. Of course, every day is a really a great day to be in the woods. I am on, I got a good one here. Uh, so I'm getting a 75, 76, and it's saying it's super, super deep. I can't wait to see what this is. I'm getting a pretty good pattern. I know it's a little noisy on the 2D screen here, but if I turn, look, it cleared up. If I let it calm down there a second, it was hitting right in that, right on that line. So, yes, we will see. Interesting, because this is saying very, very deep. So I'm gonna dig the hole, then I'll be right back. You are not gonna believe this. I got something out of that hole. I was hitting iron everywhere here, thinking, ugh, these things false like crap. I was getting a good solid hit. I was like, well, this is a really good hit. There's no way that's iron. That's how far I am. That's a good, oh, where are we at? This much deeper. I mean, that's all, that's, that's a, that's a pinpointer and three quarters or two thirds deep. That's how deep that hole was. Ridiculous deep. I'm thinking I'm finding iron. I'm looking. Still getting that hit. I have not looked at it yet. It's probably just a, I guess I like a wheat scent maybe. Or an Indian. That's pretty far down. And I think it's a wheat scent. I'm going to clean it up. I don't know if the camera is going to get it. It's a 1909. I don't think the camera is going to get that. It's pretty rough, but and I don't typically show Indian or uh, wheat scents. But so this is the site of a video that I just posted. I think last week, the week before. This is the old mill site. I've been through this place a few times since I made those finds. And I know that I've walked through this spot. I know I have. And I had I didn't get it. Because I wasn't I wasn't getting that far down. This is this is impressive. So far. I'm gonna keep hunting. I just turned around and grabbed my shovel and 
Saw that. Big boy here. Working up along my favorite ridge, I come to lesson number three for me. I'm getting a nice solid 4041. 4041 is a low brass. Low brass shotgun. The remains of a shotgun shell. Low brass. 41. Manicore. Okay, I'm on to the next one. I think I'm getting a 36, 37. A little noisy. Let's see what that is. Now the whole thing right here. A low hitter. Probably a cap. Hard to do one-handed. Is that it? Like a... Okay, that's just a rolled up piece of, I believe that, like a aluminum or something. Okay, it was hitting like trash, so not surprised. This is an interesting one here. I think this is trash. I think it is. However, I'm getting a high tone. And you can see the a 93 popping up and I'm getting this painting over here and I don't know how I feel about this because the that half cent that I found was right in here and if you watch that video I had said it wasn't a very good hit I almost walked over it it's hitting just like this so we are gonna dig it see that's the only thing you can do we'll figure this out all right, so now I'm thinking and I'm wondering because I was way down in there. It was off to the side. I pinpointed a dead center and I always do 90 degrees. I've never scuffed at anything I've ever dug because of that. It was showing here. It was ended up there. And it's a square nail. Hmm. I'm going to double check this hole. And uh, if there's anything else here, I'll be back. But this signal that I was getting here went away as soon as I got that up out of the thing, out of the hole, and it went to iron. Interesting. Okay, on to the next hit here. I am getting a 55, 56 tight pattern, 2D screen right here. What are we saying here? Like set, I guess three to seven inches. I think is what two means I guess we'll dig this and see what a 55 56 is all right got that out it was only about four inches deep so 55 56 is a rotten Lincoln zinkin that's what that was and I have been through this site I've been through here three or four times with the CTX I did not find that and that is not deep interesting so it's still Still hitting in that same range, although I pinpointed, although my pinpoint was way off. Which is, that's like the second or third time that that's happened. I am usually right on. I think what we have here is a pull tab hole with a slight fold over on the beaver tail. So 36, 37, 38 range. All right, on to the next lesson, I guess. That was a little tiny ball of foil. It's even peeling apart. On the next one here. 42 to 44 ish so I'm thinking that 42 to 44 should be sinking in because it's the third one that I found so 42 to 44 Joe remember that sometimes you just sometimes I come across a spot and I look at it and it just 
doesn't look very natural. So I'm in a spot that I, I, I mean, I know there was a house here. Yeah, the reason I know is, uh, oh, well, the reason I know is, A, I found buttons and everything else here, but I also found there's some bricks laying around here as well, but I'm getting a hit and I was going to dig it. I thought, wow, I better, I should get a reading while it's in the ground. Before I disturb it. I was getting a. a juke. Crazy. Crazy. I think that's just humongo. Alright, it's. Let's see what the heck this is. All right, this is us out of the hole. This is what it was. Now this was hitting out of the hole. So 55 to 57. That, that was a can. And I will tell you, that would have done the same thing on my CTX. That would have hit the same. I would have hit right about in that spot. I did not. Uh, that I was not fooled by that. I I had a feeling that was trash. All right, I'm on to the next target. This one here was hitting 60, 64, 65. Not showing any iron. And it's semi-deep. See what that is. Out of the hole. Oh, piece of lead. Yes, sir. Looks like uh, could be a. An old fired bullet, maybe. I can't really see it that good. I'll try to... All right, got it cleaned up. It is lead. It looks like a fired musket, maybe. I did I did not bring my cheater, so I can't see very good. Uh, but I'll look, at, I'll look at that when I get back. And if there's anything that I can make out on that, I will put it up. But I believe that is just a fired, uh, it was a, it was a round ball at one time. It kind of shaped like a round ball. So 62 to 64 on the new mana core. One other thing, I have been through this spot probably five or six times with my CTX. I would have, I would have went over that. I'm sure I would have went over that spot at least once or probably almost every time. Cause it's right in the middle. That's pretty interesting. It wasn't super deep though. Next target here, hitting 42. 41, 42. It's consistent, good good dot. I think in the past when we've got this, we have found pull tabs. So I know this spot I've been through with the CTX probably a dozen times. And my guess is I this is still in the ground because it was trash on the CTX. And I just didn't dig it. It just didn't look like something I wanted to dig. But I guess we'll find out. Okay, so it is tough digging here. Uh, you're in the woods. It's expected. But I am being, so far, I've been pretty impressed. Because that hit right there. 40, 41. Now out of the hole, that's what it's hitting. 42-ish. I think is a button in a place honestly I am I could spit on the spot that I found the King William and I just found this oh, my shovel fell over and just scared the crap out of me all right I'm gonna hit it with the brush so I am just amazed here this kind of looks like maybe a blowhole button and it almost looks like there's something on the front of this i can't it, it's really dark the camera doesn't you're not really seeing how dark it is here but um and i don't have my damn glasses but that's pretty impressive because i'm telling you right now i found in this spot literally where i'm kneeling i think i found a flat button i never and, and how did i not get this that was really good. Let's take a look at what that was hitting again. That's that's impressive. I'm I'm going home impressed tonight. I thought I was going to come up here, come out here, and show everybody what trash is, but 
So yeah, like 40, 42 range. Damn, way to go, man, at core. Man, at core. Make sure you guys sound like I, you, you're kind of used to right now. Found that with the Manicower. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. All right, on to the next one. Fifty-seven, fifty-six ish Let's dig that one up. All right, got it out of the hole and cleaned up. That's what I was hitting on that. 59, 60, somewhere in that range. Nice tight pattern for the most part. It is a brown piece of lead, very odd, because it looks like, I don't know, almost looks like it's octagon shape, but it's definitely lead. All right, there's a little bit of a lesson right here. So I was getting like a 36, 34, 35, 36. We have found a couple pull off pull tabs this is the stay on version so that was 34 to 36 try to remember that one all right i'm on to the next hit and i was getting a 42 41 43 this is a well eaten dissolved 12 gauge low brass interesting so I don't, probably can't really even tell with the phone, but it is like dark and I have two miles to go. So I am going to be walking through the woods in the dark. I stayed out here too long. No worries, I know where I'm at. So anywho, this was pretty good. So I guess as far as first impressions go, I, I like it. It, it was, it's, it's very light, it's very reactive. I found a ton of stuff in places that I've already hunted numerous times with my ctx and i'm not taking anything away from i love the ctx but sometimes you just got to change things up and i think this was a good move i'm not seeing a ton of falsing on iron and this is very iron heavy i am running it on 21 i don't know what typically on the ctx uh, there was a debate on a post that i had about the ctx falsing on 1238 and i said i i really don't get i don't have that but i don't run it super high I don't, you know, like I said, this is on 21, the CTX I would run on automatic plus three, and I never had any falsing. So, so far I'm not seeing that. And it's been a great machine. I enjoyed this, uh, this hunt out here. So, uh, go back and edit all this out, but so far so good. Uh, probably hunt tomorrow, Saturday, probably be out again tomorrow and then probably on Sunday. So might be a couple of these coming out. I'd like to hit a, a field also with it and see what goes there. So stay tuned.